Hey guys, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of the Herb Garden Project. If you missed the first part of this project, be sure to check out the previously posted video. I'll also throw it up as an info card at the top of the screen so you can check that out. But I'll get you caught up to speed. We hand split some cedar logs, loaded those cedar logs under the bush hog, the wapa chapa, took those hand split cedar logs over next to this limestone boulder. We then took a 20 ton bottle jack, leveled that boulder up, all in the efforts to make an herb garden. So we'll get back into the video and you guys can see how it finishes out. So we started off the video with the full 755 out on the YouTube Yacht Road Project. You can see it's starting to dry up out there a little bit, but it's still pretty wet. Uh, just got a scoop of that red clay. I wanted to get some of it packed underneath this side. Two things, one for stability, and uh, the second one you'll see throughout the video, I start packing stuff underneath this rock, just trying to make sure we don't create a snake habitat. And then we'll take these cedar logs we split and start building a border around this thing. So then we're going to get the Wapa Chop out. That tree right there, this is exactly what I made this thing for, customized it for, is clear out little trees like that. We'll use the front end loader on here to clear some of the smaller stuff, get turned around, and use the Wapa Chopper for some of these one and two inch trees. Now a couple of these are probably a little bit too big, you'll kind of hear it wind down a little bit, but uh, fingers crossed the gearbox is still holding up on it.
All right, I got 2% left on this GoPro. So this is where we're at. Slowly working our way around. We just put these stairs in. Now there will be a garden stake. Those green coated stakes will be one in the front and a garden stake that goes in the front and behind that to help secure these tighter. So we're back out on the YouTube Yacht Road project and I'm just digging some rocks out of the hillside because you know, use the resources you have. And then uh, you'll see as I back up here, the road is still kind of wet, but it is starting to solid up a little bit. So it's headed in the right direction. That's encouraging. This is the favorite part of any project. It's slowly starting to get your tools picked up. I need one more scoop of topsoil and I keep the topsoil pile at the barn, which is where a lot of the stuff has to go to. So I'm just taking back the stuff that I'm not needing anymore. 
and uh, some of these logs, the ones that were rotten in the middle, I ended up not using, so I'll take them back to the barn, keep them there until a future project, I suppose. What is the point of having a drone if you're never going to get it out to make videos with? So I put it up in the air, even though it was a little bit of chance of rain. But I wanted to get some shots of using the 755 to clean up around the edges. Everything we did over here with the Wapa Chapa, we have a little field out in front of the house. And we bush hog that four or five times a year, maybe just keep it beat down and looking nice. And that's the exact same thing we'll do over there. So some of those trees will come back off those stumps. But if we keep it beat down throughout the year, we shouldn't have any problem with it. The next clips are a little bit of family time. We had the kiddos come out the following day. It was nice and sunny. We got some stuff planted. We got some mulch down. We got some decorations in. Of course, you have to have decorations. And it uh, just looks really nice. So we got that coming up. And then some drone shots of some barges on the river like you guys like. They didn't have any time, so we'll leave some space. How much space do you think like this? The rosemary should get pretty big. So like, like this? Yep. Like that. There's tons up there. I can get you some more. Okay. And there's some by the chicken coops. There's like a lot by the chicken coops. All right, so we're pretty close to wrapped up. Uh, we didn't have enough mulch. We just used what we had from last year. So we still gotta get some more mulch. We're gonna mulch all the way around. You can see, uh, got these mushrooms. Those are actually belong to Chelsea's grandma. So we're a little sentimental there. We've got some herbs planted on a little spiral ramp here. We got a little fairy garden underneath the overhang. Lily trains plants some moss in there and we'll try to fill this whole thing in with moss at some point. We got the little cedar stairs, of course. Transplant some Easter flowers, mulch around this side as well, seeds there. Do we have a happy wife? Happy wife, happy life. Yep, that's what everybody keeps saying. Say bye. Bye. Oh, you guys did so good. So it turned out pretty good. We were pretty happy with it for a three day project. We probably have another day of spread mulch and just tidying everything up a little bit more. But uh, overall, love it. It was a lot of time, it was a lot of work, but it was an investment in some memories and you know that's one of the best investments you can make in life take that to the bank if you want here's the kiddos playing on the rock a little bit more and then we got the barge footage coming up
right, so you got a southbound tow. He's got 15 empty coal barges on there. That's a Crowns Corporation tow boat that's pushing there. I did not get a chance to look up the statistics on this particular tow boat, but I'll tell you this, if you ever wanna know, if you ever see the name on a boat, if you get on Google and you put in MV and then the name of the vessel, you can normally find the statistics on that vessel, at least some of them. We'll fly by the boat here. You can see the name on the side. And if you want to do the research for yourself, you can absolutely feel free to and feel free to post in the comments. If you find it, that'd be awesome. We're going to pan around here. And then I've got uh, a little bit of a time lapse of him going southbound through the bend. We're going to spin back around. There's another barge coming southbound as well. And we'll time lapse him coming into the turn. Here's that other southbound tow I was talking about. This is close as I was able to get to him before my battery warning came on, but I did get this time lapse of him flanking into the bend, which is always kind of fun to watch. I think it's neat the way they come around these corners. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I will say with everything that's going on in the world right now, things are a little bit weird here at home. I'll do my best to keep the content coming, but bear with me if I miss a few days. As always, thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one.